Get everyone, be Asian dad here. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing very well and keeping healthy and safe. Over here, I'm doing pretty sweet. As you can see, I've been a busy boy and I've been listening to your suggestions and I'm hoping you definitely like this sort of new setup I've got going here. Now, as you can see behind me, I've got a lot of empty shelves. And I'm definitely keen to hear your suggestions or even contributions on what I should fill these shelves with. So definitely put a comment below on that. Or I'm even keen to even maybe take on donations if you've got anything that you want to showcase on my shelves. Of course, making sure those products are definitely YouTube safe for other viewers, of course. And of course, we want to make sure they are family friendly as well. So definitely keen to do on that. Now, we're going to do the unboxing and first impression of this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga 5th Generation. So, I am not new to this particular product. I've actually seen it quickly before for the 4th generation. So, this is the 5th generation here. and But I only had a very quick brief moment with the 4th generation. Now, for those who have just joined me for the very first time, I don't normally see the photo of this particular product. All I really do is I just run through quickly through the spec sheet just to see what it can be configured and that's pretty much it. And I'll leave that to pretty much my first impression as you see on the video. So I'm meeting this computer for the very first time. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing now. Now, unfortunately, I accidentally did unbox this or I took pretty much cut it open and I thought this was an X1 carbon, but it's not. And I quickly said, oh, that's something a little bit different. So I'll quickly put it back in and we'll wait for you to join me to do the unboxing. So I don't really need my knife here for this one here. So I've already done the knife, but we'll continue on anyway. So let's go on with it. Let's bring this thing out. All right, let's sort of do this sort of thing here. As always, let's bring this, makes this easier. As always, I always look at what the power supply is for it. So let's have to bring that out first. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Now, let's have a look, it is, oh, that's just a bit. Okay, we've got a 65 watt power adapter, which is pretty good. And that's the power port here. I'll just put that on the side. And that is running through a USB-C port, so that's, Definitely like the normal X1 carbons, which I did the unboxing very recently. And let's see who else what we've got in here. So this yoga is a two-in-one, so it should be able to do a flip. So let's bring this up. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll just tell you if there's anything else in here. It's got some documentation, so we don't need that, do we? Uh, and that's pretty much about all that is. So let's chuck this down here, put it to the side, and let's do this for have a look. So let's get through this thing here. Oh. All right, there we go. Let's open it up and there we go. Woo, I definitely feel it very different to the X1 Carbon here. It's also a little bit more heavier than the X1 Carbon. The X1 Carbon is about 1.1 kilos. This is about 1.35 kilos to 1.4 kilos. Uh, but this one is definitely a different fluid color. Wow, it does feel very different here. The feel of this is very premium. I like this feel to it. It's, uh, I know it's, uh, on top it's aluminium and on the bottom is magnesium alloy as well too so definitely and that's probably where the weight comes from but oh wow this feels really nice even the hinge is all aluminium as well it's very nice I think this is going to be very durable and plus it's even the edges of this on the back end it's very curvy so you're not going to catch anything it's got a really nice feel to it sides a little bit more sharper than what I would have expected but it's got a very nice sort of feel to it. Same with the front as well that's a bit no that's actually quite nice uh, but the top end is quite sharp uh, but when you're holding it that's got a very nice actually it's got a very nice economic feel to it uh, if you hold it this way hold it that way uh, it's all right I would actually like to hold it this way with the display towards your body I think that feels the best there for you and that happens anyway so definitely nice there so yeah, definitely, and even to the sides, oh, it's got a very nice, beautiful brush and the medium feel to it. Very beautiful there. Anyway, while we're at, let's have a look at the ports since I'm looking at the side of it. So what have we got here? So looking on the right hand side, we've got the security lock slot, got exhaust vents, and then we've got a USB 
3.1 Gen 1 probably that's the Type A port. Then we've got the power button. Now I do like to have the power button on the right hand side, uh, even with the X1 Carbon. The reason why is because then you can keep the lid down if you connect it to a docking station. It can actually power it up without having to open up the lid and then power it. But even this is really nice to have the power button on the side because of the two-in-one part you can actually turn this on while it's actually on tablet mode because normally once you hit to the two-in-one mode which i'll show you a little bit later it usually disables the keyboard and a lot of times the power button gets disabled at the same time as well which is a bit of annoyance but that's nice when it's on the side and after that one on that is the good old pen so it's got a nice little integrated pen it's right here which is really sweet and this also charges while it's actually garaged into this computer here. So I love having a garage pen because that way you don't lose it. I don't need these magnetic things. It's always there anytime you want it, it's there ready to go. I love having the garage and this is why I like the Lenovo's for it, is the fact that you don't have to find a place or, or even store a different place. It's stored directly into the computer. So it's fantastic, I love this. Uh, and while we're at it, we might as well have a look at the pen anyway. So it's got two buttons here and they are small pens, but that's fine, that's all you need anyway. So that will still fit me very happily um, for my whole times. And so I'm quite happily, it's quite thin, so I actually like it. Really nice fine pencils, what it feels like anyway. But I would definitely will be, oh, I forgot to say, I will be creating a review video of this for a follow-up video. So definitely check that out when I have spent some time with this. So I'll definitely put a review video and I'll definitely do the jitter test or the line test for the pen support here. So I'll definitely, we'll definitely do that. All right, let's go to put back in. So I'll just chuck that in. So that's great. See, you don't lose that at all. All right, looking on the back end, there's no ports there at the back, of course, because you need two and one. And then on the left hand side, let's start at the back here. So we've got two Thunderbolt ports, so that's USB C or USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. And then we've got this special port, which is for the Doctor Connector port uh, for the Lenovo Docs. And then we've got another USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, that's a USB Type A port. And then we've got the HDMI port, and then we've got the headphone jack, and that's pretty much about all there is. Uh, so that's pretty sweet what it is. So no, unfortunately no media card slots for this one here. Um, and then let me get a helper for us to open this up. So I'm just gonna bring in one of my helpers to help me push this up so we can actually see the keyboard and mouse a lot easier. So let's do the, th let's open it up and have a look what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is very, very similar to the X1 Carbon. The keyboard is quite smooth for each individual keys, I can tell you that. And of course, this is the ThinkPad keyboard and they're famous for very nice tactile feel to it. It's got a fair bit of key travel, which is great for there. And they're very gonna be very, very durable, of course, uh, that I like here. Yeah. And of course, the function key is on the very left-hand corner. The control key is the second button, and that's normal for ThinkPads. Now, if you want to get annoyed by that, I've got a hack well, it's not really a hack. You can change it in BIOS and of course change it in the software as well. You can flip those two around. I'll put it in a link in the description below if you want to check that video out if you've bought one of these things. But yeah, it's a very nice keyboard here. And I can see on the top uh, where the F9, F10 and F11, that is the new, I think I saw it in the eighth generation. That's the sort of video conferencing sort of buttons that they've um, put in which is kind of nice to see and then of course near the trackpad. Oh, sorry I forgot to say there's still the track point which is great to see or the keyboard nipple or what I used to call it the G spot because of where it's located and then we've got to store the three buttons underneath the space bar to support a lot of the professional applications so that's for the track point and then we've got the very nice fat a very nice smooth trackpad here. So this trackpad is a little tad different to the X1 Carbon. This one has a more of a glass feel more to it. There is a X1 Carbon had a more of a matte feel to it, but this is a very nice, and I can definitely see this won't have any issues even with moist fingers as well too. So that's great. Uh, and of course it's gonna be moisture and it is a mechanical. I can definitely see it press down, depress as well too. That's great to see. Now I can see the speakers is located on the top 
there and it goes all the way along the top. Uh, X1 carbon is actually two on each side. This one is all along the back, which makes me want to wonder if it's got speakers on the back end as well. Yes, it does. There are another two more speakers on the back end as well too. So that's kind of see. So it's a four, should be a four speaker system. Yeah, so I just expect it to have some really decent sound. It does have Adobe Atmos, um, it says. So I definitely will be testing out the sound on that one there. And as you can see, um, it's actually got a 720p webcam. It does have the privacy shutter there, so you can actually give it a nice little flick and you'll see it go red. And I'll cover that in a way when I do the video test of an audio test on the review video for the webcam. All right, I've got the computer connected to power. Let's boot this thing up and see how it goes. So hopefully we'll get this thing going. Won't make a lie out of me, will it? There you go, we'll go to turn time. And of course, it's got a very glossy uh, feel to this display, and that's not really normal for a tool one because quite simply when you're doing pen support you don't you actually need a bit of a hard surface just to protect the panel there for the, when you're writing on the screen so let's just only bring this sort of up and I know I'm pretty sure most of the time we should be able to quite happily remove the power after that I think it's just more of a booting thing when you definitely need connected to the power so let's see how all those boots in there and we'll just see how big the bezel is so I can see on the sides the bezel is actually quite a little bit thin uh, which is great and the top is doing it not too bad and I would call it a mid class middle range for the bezel on top and the bottom it does have a bit of bezel but this is something I've seen a lot in especially in tool ones and that is because I show you the tool one part you can just flip that screen around and that is because when you're holding it especially as a right hander when you're holding it you will see that you always over grab and this is what that's for so it doesn't actually have to do the finger rejection for it so that's kind of why they kind of have a little bit more bezel on the bottom if you get a more affinity that's going to really you know mess around with a lot of times with finger rejections for that so that's why that's good but it's not really really large i've seen the previous ones are really large but this one's not too bad at all so i can see that's not too bad when i'm holding that uh, there and of course i do like having the exhaust on the sorry this is going to be on the i think it was on the left hand side no, let me put this up to normal again uh, sorry it is on yes the left hand sorry right hand side of the computer as long as it's on right hand or left hand side that's fine as long as it's not on the back end which is where i really don't like it because when you're in this in tablet mode you have the exhaust at least all of the exhaust is going up or down and not into your fingers or onto your arm when you're actually out in the field writing away using the pen support so that's kind of nice so that kind of gives you an idea now i will be testing the sound out a little bit later on in the review video i'm going to have a quick check because i've got the x1 carbon eighth generation i just want to see if it's any thinner to it compared to it so let's just have a look at that is it any more thinner so this is x1 carbon eighth generation so let's push this around i just want to see is it any more thinner no it is pretty much the same so i'll just put them back to back as well let's have a look Ooh, it's about very similar i think actually the x1 carbon is a little tad thicker by just maybe a mil uh, on the back to back and that's pretty much about it and I might as well just do the footprint here to see if it's the same here it's the footprints the same uh, so the x1 carbon and the yoga is very footprint is the same as for weight wise of course the yoga is a little bit heavier by 200 grams and you don't feel too much but you definitely feel overall a very very slightly in a way but this has the extra function of the tool one so definitely i like the fact that you can do a flip and of course once you do the flip pull out the pen so it's on this side here which is garage in and you can then start writing so definitely very nice of course i definitely like that to give you a comparison of the x1 carbon eighth generation and the x1 yoga just the display only and you can just see the bezel as well so i've got the x1 carbon eighth generation on the left hand side and i've got the x1 yoga 
Gen 5 on the right hand side. So you can see just to see, have a look at the bezel, they're practically nearly the same for the size of the bezel. I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like or even smack that like just to help me out. And of course, if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel at hit the subscribe button bottom right here on the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.